A few months ago, Kim Ledby, who was elected as a local MP for Batley and Spen, where I'm from, I contacted Kim and asked her if I could come down and spend the day and show you at home what she gets up to here in Parliament. Kim said yes, which was great, but then sadly, this happened. For reasons that I would never wish on any other member of this House, or indeed anyone, I do have a unique perspective on what those closest to David are going through, and I want to send them my love, support and solidarity from myself, my parents, our family and the people of Batley and Spen. Despite this shocking event, Kim was still insistent that I came down and spent the day. She didn't want what happened to impact the work that she does, and she didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to show you at home what our MPs get up to at Parliament. What is the day looking like? Oh, it's a bit mad. Kim, lovely to see you. Hello, Sam. Welcome to Westminster. It's very posh. I'm liking it. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right, yeah. Um, I mean, it's been a, a mad few months, and then it's been a pretty tough few days. Yes. Um, yes. But I'm doing okay. So I've just had a really good meeting with Maria Miller, who is a Conservative MP, and we were talking about the online harms bill that's going through Parliament at the moment. Um, and what's really good about that meeting is that this is done on a cross-party basis, and I think what people sometimes don't realise is how much work is done cross-party in the Houses of Parliament. And those conversations are really important because what you get then is that you hear different voices, A, from different political perspectives, but B, from different geographical perspectives as well, so different areas across the country, and different ages, and men and women, so you're getting a range of perspectives, which I think is really important on any issue. Yeah, I mean, safety of MPs is a massive issue at the moment, again. Um, I'm just devastated that David Amos's family have had to go through what we went through when Joe was killed. Um, and they are the people who I've been thinking about most at this time. But we do need to have some serious conversations about what safety in public life looks like. What's frustrating for me is I'm having a lot of very similar conversations to the ones that I had after Joe was killed. And I'm not sure things have, have changed that much in the last five years, and that is really heartbreaking. For me, when you're in Westminster, you feel pretty safe. You've got amazing security, amazing police officers who, who look after you when you're on this um, estate. Obviously, when you're in your constituency, it's very different because you are a human being, you are a person. So you do go to the shops and you do go to the park and you do go out and about. Um, and there's no way you can be protected all the time. And it would be ridiculous to think that that could be the case. Um, but I think, what David's horrific murder has shown is that we do need to do more. So I'm very keen to be involved in some of those conversations. For me now, I'm really conscious that I am constantly checking in with my partner. I'm constantly checking in with my mum and dad. Just a text every few hours, I'm all right, everything's okay. Um, because they're going through this as well. So every family member of somebody who is an MP or works in a public role worries about them, of course they do. Where are we and where are you about to go? So we are in Westminster Hall, which is this beautiful, huge room in Parliament, and I'm about to go into Prime Minister's Questions, which happens at 12 o'clock on every Wednesday. No, I was called for PMQs uh, just before recess, so the chances of me being called today are pretty remote, but it's really important that I go in there, I listen to Prime Minister's Questions, and then after that we've actually got some tributes to James Brokenshire, who was an MP who sadly died of cancer recently. So I I'd met James, so I'm really keen to stay in for that as well. Hiya Jess, it's nice Hello. to see you. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of thinking and talking through about what it means to be in Parliament, obviously as the, the newbie, the new girl on the block, <laughs> and it'd be really good to know from you sort of what it's like, particularly as a woman in politics. Um, I mean, it has its good moments and its bad moments. There's definitely a difference being a woman yeah. than being a man, uh, without question. The, the pressure on you is completely different and the expectation of you is completely different from both people here, but also in the public. Hello, Hello Kia. How are you? 
I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. How's Jean? How's Gordon? Oh, they're doing really well. I wanted to say thank you for ringing them because it was a tough weekend for them, really? as it was for lots really, of people. Really, really. But, but yeah. I'm so taken with what they said. Yeah, it's just it's just awful that we're again, isn't it? Yeah. But that's the first thing you think about, obviously. Really had time to think about whether I'm enjoying it or not. It's really hard work. It's a tough job if you do it properly. Yeah, um, yeah. And I used to say that to Jo, and goodness knows how she did it with two little kids and how people do it with, with families. Um, what's lovely is when you know you've helped somebody. So the casework, the constituency work, when my team are able to sort someone's pension out or their passport or help them with a housing issue, then that's really satisfying. Yeah, and yeah. I've said to them at the end of every week, I want us to, to celebrate those success stories uh, because that feels really good. No, I think, I mean, Joe's always with me, whatever I do. Um, the time I feel closest to Joe is when I'm with her children. But that's obviously the hardest part of, of everything that's happened. I mean, if I'm, if I'm honest, I actually still can't believe I am here doing this job. It is mad. Um, but I've said before, if I can be half the MP that Joe was, then I'll be very happy with that. Uh, so today has been very eye-opening, I would say. We've kind of pulled the curtain away today, which I've loved, and seen the important meetings, the cross-party stuff that they do regularly, and the media stuff as well that we typically don't really see. Also, it's been really interesting to see how the MPs are reacting after the sad events on Friday. So the MPs that we've seen have all been, been really strong, which is good. Um, there's been a lot of talk about Sir David and how horrible it is, and also a little bit of talk as well on MP safety, which was important. Today has just been crazy. I've learned so much about what happens when our MPs come and visit London, and I hope you at home have as well. Thank you so much for watching.